Hey guys, um, this video, I want to talk about something you wouldn't quite expect to hear on a <laughs> home theater kind of channel. Um, but one thing I want to talk about is hearing. Um, you know, I, I show the dogs, uh, you know, I've got Angel and Bear, they're around here all the time. And, uh, and you know, a lot of people I could see them saying, well, you know, man, that's got to be bad for their ears. You know, I, you know, they can't, that's got to be a problem. And really, I value my hearing a lot. And one of the reasons is I know that once you lose it, you can't really get it back. It's gone. Uh, and ask anybody that's got hearing loss. You, you, you know, it's, it's pretty much once you damage those little hairs, it's over. And so, uh, you know, one of the things that I did, um, I'm not, you know, I kind of made it a point on one of my articles that I don't own an SBL meter, which is kind of dumb on my part, right? Um, and so I actually got to looking around and what I found was a, 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 an app that has, you know, an SPL meter on it. And, you know, I'm sure this thing isn't accurate. You know, I, I, I'm, I'm sure of that. Uh, but what I did is I played some stuff and I played it to where for me it was an uncomfortable level. And what I found was, you know, my limit is right around 85 uh, decibels. Anything above that, I'm just uncomfortable. You know, for me, it's it's not fun anymore. Um, I'm not a big concert goer either, because usually I find the sound levels just to be too high. Um, you know, <laughs> I guess I'm a fuddy-duddy in that way, but uh, really, I, I, I like my hearing. And particularly now, it's become more important. So, uh, so I don't run anything hotter. You generally, um, you know, my listening levels on a, on a loud uh, movie, uh, I'll sit there and I'll run that, that app throughout the entire movie and it'll tell you how high you got and how low you got and uh typically 84 is the peak and if you look it up uh hearing damage starts at 85 and so it's just one of those things if you're going through and you're spending good money on home theater uh you know take care of your ears because <laughs> if you blow them out what the heck is the point anymore uh you don't want to damage things uh, to a point where it's no fun anymore. And, you know, that goes to another point is that, you know, with quality subs, um, you know, you can listen at lower levels and it still sounds even and and well-defined. Uh, that's one of my favorite things to do is just put it on as background noise and uh, the sound that comes out is, is still appropriate. You know, you still get deep, rich sound from these subs. You know, that's one of the things uh, people assume that big means loud. And it doesn't always, um, you know, it means you can do louder, easier, you can do louder, cleaner. Um, but having multiple subs, um, having good quality subs, like the one that I list on the website, um, it's not about the loudness. It's about better bass. It's about the, the sound coming through and, and being what it would be if you heard it in person. You know, if you heard a double bass or, or a cello in person, this is what it would sound like. Or, or at least to be very close. And, um, you know, so, you know, it's not all about how loud you go. And uh, really, you know, you want to take care of your hearing because you lose that and what's the point of all this, right? So anyway, you know, just kind of an odd video on hearing. Um, you know, if it's important enough for you to spend money on stuff like this, it's important enough to take care of. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. That's my public service announcement for the day. Thanks. <laughs> Bye.